Friday, August 3, 2018. Neil wants to sell GC Buzz. Phyllis reconnects with belief, and Evan tells Lily to turn herself in. On the Crimson Lights patio, Victoria confers with Phyllis, Nikki, and Sharon about Nick impersonating JD and attacking Newman Enterprises. The consensus is that at least now they relax and move on with their lives. The lead appears. Nikki claims they're working on another charity project, so he leaves. Talk turns to the tension between Phyllis and Belief. Sharon hopes they find their way back together. Nikki wonders what unforgivable thing Phyllis did. Phyllis salutes Belief's reckless streak, which Victoria understands. Nikki still blames Phyllis. The conversation returns to J.D. as Paul appears. He was just thinking of them all this morning. He mentions the J.D. sighting and wonders if Victoria's seen him again. Victoria would have told Paul. Paul has a theory on what happened to J.D., and Nikki realizes he suspects Victor. She snarls about Paul being more concerned with J.D.'s safety than his crimes. Paul insists his only goal is justice. After, Phyllis assures them that Paul's focus will shift, though she wouldn't mind J.D.'s death being pinned on Victor, and walks off. The others wonder if they should worry. Inside, Phyllis calls someone to meet at her place. At home, Devon sits on the stairs gaping at the remnants of Hillary's funeral reception. After, Shauna appears. She presumes Devon doesn't want her there anymore. Devon's taken aback, and insists he wants her to stay. Devon opens up about his connection to Hillary, and lets Shauna know how much Hillary loved her. They're in an exclusive club and need each other more than ever. Devon reveals her parents are fine with her staying, and tells her she was brave to tell the truth yesterday. Later, Charlie arrives to argue with Shauna about telling Devon about his mom. She reminds him his mom is all about the truth, and points out he's allowed his parents to think they had sex. Charlie can't do this anymore. And leaves. More. CBS stars new TV and film projects at Hamilton Winters Group. Neil tells Mariah he is to keep pushing and make the decisions Devon can't. She tells him Tess is coming back. But he says that ship has sailed. Lily arrives as Mariah leaves on an errand. Neil doesn't want Lily there since Devon's in a bad state of mind. Lily resists. Neil warns her to give Devon some space. Lily needs to talk to him. Neil argues what Devon needs comes first. Mariah returns, followed by Devon. Lily approaches him to talk. He's surprised she even showed her face in the office today. Mariah pulls his sleeve. We're leaving. You and me. Come on. At Crimson Lights, Devon and Mariah discuss Lily. He knows she was spouting garbage about Hillary being the mother before she ran the red light. Mariah updates him on Tessa, before pointing out that Lily will light with guilt for the rest of her life. Devon scoffs. Lily got exactly what she wanted. Hillary is gone. Mariah moves to embrace him. On the patio, Nikki, Victoria, and Sharon continue their debate about whether Phyllis is now the weak link. Sharon insists they can't start suspecting each other. After, Nikki wishes Victoria a wonderful visit with Reed, and asks her to give him their love. At Phyllis' place, Nick asks, What did our daughter do now? Phyllis says it's not her, but it's everything else. 
she can't talk to her usual people now. He's the only person she trusts. Phyllis talks about Billy being a mess, and asks Nick not to egg him on. She loves him, but slept with Nick anyway. She either doesn't love him enough or she's a rotten person. Nick says he may be rotten too. Maybe it's inevitable he'll screw things up with Sharon again. They agree it's easy between them and get nervous. Nick needs to go. Phyllis thanks him for stopping by. More soap opera theme songs with lyrics and videos. Mariah and Evan return to Hamilton Winters group where Neil focuses on business. They have to replace Tessa, and he wants to sell GC Buzz. Devin snaps. He won't let him pretend that Hillary never existed. He says GC Buzz isn't going anywhere and Mariah will host. Lily approaches Devin again to apologize. He thinks she just feels sorry for herself, and confronts her about telling Hillary she'd be a terrible mother. Lily didn't want Hillary dead and points out she could have died herself. Devin snipes, there would have been more justice in that. He wants Lily to turn herself into the police. Neil protests, but Devin says if she won't, he'll do it for her and Shauna will back him up. At home, Nick pulls Sharon into a hug. She is the only thing that matters. And he wants to get plans on track for the wedding. At Jibo, Phyllis parks herself on Billy's desk. She's wrong. And isn't about to lose him. She won't hound him about gambling. But they'll talk about it. No more ultimatums. No more days and nights apart. Billy feels he's an idiot. He loves her and wants her back. Vacus.